First, he gave you Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. And then, Bloom in Love. And now, a new film from Paul Mazursky, Harry and Tonto. Most people think that being old is nothing but sitting around in the park feeding pigeons. That's because they haven't met Harry Coombs. He's 72, and believe it or not, he's got a lot in common with you. You dumb son of a... He has girl troubles. When did you last sleep with a woman? Saturday night, March 1951. He's got family problems. My brother is insane. I don't like that bird. He's getting hassled by the law. Rage, blow, stop hurricane. But Harry still has hopes and dreams. Now, when I was your age, I did a lot of foolish things. Then again, I still do a lot of foolish things. So he's packing up his faithful sidekick, Tonto, and running away from home. Uh, my cat has to relieve himself. You're not supposed to have any animals on a vehicle. I need something to get me to Chicago. 20th Century Fox invites you to hit the road with Harry and Tonto. Are you Jewish? <laughs> no, I, I'm into Zen Buddhism these days. You want to chase around a little bit? <laughs> and Harry and Norman. You taking any of these drugs? LSD? Psilocybin? Heroin? You're a good boy, Norman. Harry and Ginger. Ginger, how old are you? 16. Well, I guess I don't know what it's like to be 16 these days. Neither do I. Harry and Jesse. Do you remember me? Sure, I remember you. You're still very beautiful. Thank you, Alex. Harry and Stephanie. My name is Harry Coombs. Stephanie. How are you, Stephanie? You in show business? I'm a hooker. Harry and Eddie. I'll help you find a place. You help me find a place. You know a good broker? I'm a broker. Harry and the con man. Now, ease your wonder vitamin. You rub it in, you can swallow it. I advise you to do both. Good for your heart, good for your head, and good for your sex. Harry and the medicine man. Can you cure bursitis? Oh, hello. Absolutely amazing. I love my work. Harry and Shirley. You love me? Look, I'll tell you something, Harry. I don't always like you, but I... I do love you. Art Carney and Ellen Burstyn in Paul Mazursky's Harry and Tonto. Last year, Billy Jack became one of the most popular pictures of our time. Walking Tall was applauded by audiences across the nation. Now, Charles Bronson is Mr. Majestic in a movie that touches the hero in all of us. Vincent Majestic was an ordinary man. He wanted to work his farm, live his life, mind his business. Hey, didn't somebody say something about a cold beer after work? But they wouldn't let him. Hey, I don't think I know you. Come over from La Hunter with some top hand pickers. I are who I want. Yeah, well, you see, you want me. Only, it ain't sunk into that thick brain of yours yet. They frightened his workers. Tell them they don't work him anymore. You got two minutes to get the hell in your cars and get out of here. They tortured his friends. They do this to me. They're gonna kill you. They threw him in jail. You understand your rights under the law? I understand I should keep my mouth shut. They destroyed his crops. They forced him to become what he never meant to be, a hero. Why are they calling Mr. Majestic the one movie you must see this year? Ask anyone who's seen it. Anyone. Charles Bronson is Mr. Majestic in a movie that touches the hero in all of us. It's coming from the deep, dark recesses of the mind of Mel Brooks. I love him. Young Frankenstein.
guy means business. Ah! Young Frankenstein! Oh dear, nothing left. What shall we throw in now? Starring Gene Wilder as Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. But what about your grandfather's work, sir? My grandfather's work was doo-doo! Peter Boyle as the monster. Wow! <laughs> Marty Feldman as Igor. My grandfather used to work for your grandfather. I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Loris Leachman as Frau Blucher. You played that music in the middle of the night. Yes! To get us into the laboratory. Yes! And it was you who left my grandfather's book out for me to find. Yes! So that I would... Yes! Then you and Victor were... Say it. He was my boyfriend! <laughs> Carrie Gar as Inga. Would you like to have a roll in the hay? Roll, roll, roll in the hay. Kenneth Mars as the inspector. And Madeline Kahn as Elizabeth. Where am I? <coughs> Calm down. What are you going to do to me? <coughs> I'm not afraid of you. <coughs> Listen, I, I'm, I have to be back by 11.30. I'm expecting a very important call. Kill the monster! Stop me, castle! I'm speaking! Young Frankenstein. Yes, I think we could all use a good laugh. But don't see it alone. Don't miss Young Frankenstein, personally directed by Mel Blazing Saddles Brooks in black and white. No offense. <laughs> Jim Kelly. They've done it before on their own, but this one's too big to handle alone. You know, man, you come to town, I know there's gonna be trouble. Brown, Williamson, Kelly, the big three, together for the first time, they do it their way. Three the hard way, three cities and three of us. My troubles are almost over. I'm gonna kill us all. You see, we have a scientific institution here. They found a way. <laughs> Only us. Nobody else. The ultimate purpose is a cleansing, purification of the races. We gotta stop. Yeah, brother, I'm ready. It's just me and Wonder Watch, baby. When the three of them get through with you. What makes you think the three of them will survive the next 24 hours? <laughs> Me to secure a place for you in history. Love. History is watching, waiting for your decision. Love. This is your moment, Mr. Feather. Ah! Action explodes all over the place. When the big three join forces to save their race. What's happening? Why? Brown. Williamson. Kelly. Together for the first time.
call him Willie D. D for dude, he's got to be number one. D for devil, no one crosses Willie D. D for dynamite, Willie Dynamite. Seven women in the palm of his hand, Willie D. Willie D. Got a woman for every man, Willie D. Willie D. It's magic the way he runs his game. Ooh, Willie. Never treating two girls the same, Willie. Oh, Willie D. Willie, please, please don't make me go anymore. <laughs> Willie's got it all right in his hand, except maybe he ain't. Take a rest, Willie. Sure, Bell. Up. Get him up. Hey, go easy on Willie. He's tender. You know, he works with women all day. You know how it is? Why all the concern over a used-up junkie? She your sister? <laughs> yeah, Willie. She's your sister, too. <laughs> Together and mean. He's got to be number one. Willie! Oh, Willie D! Willie D! Gentlemen, at this time, we are proud to announce the motion picture debut of America's most talented, most beautiful, most exciting, most glamorous female superstar. Mom's Mabley as Amazing Grace. Grace T. E. Dale Grimes, that's me. She's sweet. Oh man, don't be no boo. She's sexy. No, don't kiss me, honey. You might start something that you can't stop. She's tough. Baby, I'm gonna stomp you. She's tender. And I made up my mind that you were my children. She's courageous. But you should have went over there and busted him right in the mouth. She's contagious. We want Grace! We want Grace! Grace ain't coming. Grace ain't coming. She's outrageous. You going to be the mayor of Baltimore. Thank you, Miss Constituents, like you said. Wait a minute, don't be called old by no constituent. She's Mom's Mabley, and she's amazing. That's all I need to know. In Amazing Grace with Slappy White. Do the camel walk. Do the camel walk. Colin man got to do a whole lot of strange things nowadays to make a dollar. Step and fetch it. Himself in person as Step and Fetch it. Moses Gunn. Of course, we all realize that Mr. Waters is black. But I think we can ignore that. He has. Rosalind Cash. If she does anything to ruin this campaign, that's my problem. Now look, man, you mention my wife one more time, and I'm gonna have to go to the street on you. Butterfly McQueen. Hello! <laughs> I'm gonna give me a pair of pies and pick this woman boy. Don't miss Mom's Mabley in Amazing Grace. But watch me. Watch me.